hello guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to be making an honda corset belt and for this tutorial we are going to need a buyer's tape we are going to need the fabric we are using this is the bony we'll be using and our lining so if this is something that you are interested in learning kindly endeavor to stay tuned to the end of this video thank you so the first thing we are going to do is to measure our neckline measurements, the 7 by 3 inches measurement. Then on the 7 inches, I'm going to come down by 1. Don't mind me in this place. This cardboard is stressing my life. So I'm just going to come down by 1 inch. Then I'm just going to form my shoulder slant. Although we do not need it, but we are using this for reference purpose. Then... I'm going to place my tape to the beginning of the pattern paper, in this case cardboard. I'll mark out the bust points, I'll mark out the under busts, and I'm going to mark out the waistline. So after marking them out, I'm just going to like make a straight ruler to form the lines. So then I'm trying to label it now. This is the bust points, this is the under bust, and that is the waistline. So on the waistline, I'm just going to measure the midpoint of my nipple to nipple measurement, and that's three and a half. So I'm going to repeat that same measurement on the bust point. Then I'm just going to mark a straight line to connect the two points together. So on that same waistline, I'm just going to come out by half an inch on both sides of the line that I just made. So I'm just going to connect it to the line at the bust point like so. So after connecting it like that, the next thing I'm going to do is to measure the difference between the uh, bust point and the under bust. And the difference is 3 inches. So I'm going to measure on the side. I'm going to measure 3 inches on the side that is going to the side. Then I'll measure 3 inches on the side that is going to the center front. So I've measured the 3, 3 inches. So the next thing is to connect it together to the dart line on the underbust part. So I've connected it together on both sides so the next thing i'm going to do is to measure out my um bust pan measurements which is eight and a half then i'm going to add one and a half inch seam allowance then on the waist measurements i'm going to measure the waist pan measurements which is six and a half then I'm going to add the one inch that that we are taking that we are cutting away. We are going to add it to it. Then I will now add the one and half same allowance. So I'm going to connect it together with a straight line. So the next thing that I'm going to do now is to cut off the pattern and I'm going to cut it the way I'm showing it now. So this is the front panel and this is how it's going to look like. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go and cut our back panel. So for the back panel, I've already marked out one hinge for the zipper allowance. So I'm just going to align the front panel on that, uh, starting from that one hinge that of the zipper allowance. So now I'm just going to use masking tape to align it properly if you can arrange it and it won't be shifting then you can but as you can see as i'm arranging it it is shifting so i have to like use masking tape to hold it down so while holding it down you are going to mark out the one inch that that we cut off for the, from the front panel 
So we are going to mark it out and we leave the space so that the front panel will not be smaller than the back panel. So I'm just going to trace it out like so. So after tracing it out, I'm going to remove the front panel. Then from the side to the zipper allowance, I'm just going to make a little slant line, which is going to serve as like the neckline. So I'm making a little slant there. So then I'm just going to take the midpoint of that one inch that I left for the darts. That midpoint, I'm going to make a straight line on the midpoint and make it straight to meet the neckline. Then I'm just going to form my darts again on that part. So after forming my darts, I think I'm practically done. So the next thing is to cut it out. So after cutting it out, this is the back panel and this is the front panel. That's the zipper allowance. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take it and go and use this pattern to cut out my fabric. So I've already used the pattern to cut out my fabric and this is how it looks like. This is the front panel. And this is the back panel and as you can see I added like half an inch allowance to the core part and to the side parts where I'm going to join together the center front together with the side part. Then I added one inch allowance to the damp part because it is the top that we are making. So then I've gone ahead to cut out the lining as well. Then I added interface to the lining but you can't see the interface because it is a black interface that I used. So I'm just going to set the lining aside for now and I'm, I'm going to start working on the front panel. So the next, the first thing I'll do is to open up the front, part, the center front. Remember, the pattern paper is um, a single piece, but when you are cutting it, make sure you cut it on fold. So that means the center front is going to be on fold. So every other piece will be two, two pieces. So I'm just going to place the side piece on the center front like this and I'm just going to take it to my machine and sew it. So I've already sewn it together and I press it so that it will lie down flat and this is how it looks like. So the next thing I'm going to do is to pick my back panel and place it side, place the side seam facing each other and join it together with the one and a half inch seam allowance that we left when we we're cutting the pattern so i'm just going to do so now so i've joined it together at the side so after joining it together with the one and a half inch i'm just going to cut off the excess fabric from the side so i've cut the excess fabric from the side so this is how it looks like on the front panel and that is how it looks on the back. So the next thing I'm going to do is to work on the linings. So everything I did on the fabric, I'm going to repeat them on the lining as well. So I've gone ahead to sew the lining together the same way I did the fabric. So right now I'm just going to place the right side of the lining to face the right side of the fabric. Then I'm just going to pin it together all round at the top part. So when I pin it together, I'll take it to my sewing machine to sew round. So I'm just going to take it to my machine and sew it the way I'm using my fingers to trace it out. So I've gone ahead to sew it and I've started notching it before I remember that, oh, I'm actually making a video. So I decided to come back and show you guys how I'm notching the remaining. So I'm going to notch it so that when I flip it to the right side, it's going to stand properly. So 
So I've already flipped it to the right side and I've given it a good press so you can see that it's lying properly. But then I made a mistake when I was sewing it. I was supposed to like attach the bony casing before I fix the lining to the fabric. So now uh, it's time to attach the bony casing. So I'm just going to attach the bony casing to the midpoint of the center front, the dart at the front, the joining at the side, then the dart at the back. So I'm trying to make lines on where the dart at the back is supposed to be because I cut the thing straight. I didn't add that to the back panel. So because I, I I made a mistake, I'm going to fold the bias tape at the top part. You know, if I sew it to the fabric before sewing the lining to the fabric, the the bias tape, the starting point of the bias tape is going to be inside, in between the lining and the fabric. But because I made that mistake, I'm just going to have to like fold it at the top. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to go ahead now to take it to my sewing machine to sew down on those lines or those places that have placed the bias tape. But when you are sewing, make sure that you flip open your fabric from the lining so that you not go and sew the lining together with the bias tape and the fabric. So I've actually gone ahead to sew it and I actually decided that it's not going to look neat if I fold it at the top like I did. So I had to loosen the lining and attach the bias before I fix the lining again. So now it's time to start working with our bony. So the first thing we are going to do is to place our bony underneath the cup like the way I'm just placing it on it right now. So if you have a bra on the wire, like you can use it, but I don't have a bra on the wire. So I'm just going to make use of this bony. So I'm just going to cut two. I've, me I've used that first one to measure it. So I'm just going to cut two. Then I'm in going to insert it in between the fabric and the lining. So I'll insert it and make sure it's aligning properly and sew it round. So I've gone ahead to sew it round. So the next thing is to insert my um bony into the bony casing so and as you can see i'm already doing that but i will have to go off camera to attach the uh, the rest of the bony casing to the rest of the bony to the bony casing sorry So I've gone ahead to attach the bony case, bony to the bony casing. Why am I making this mistake? And this is the final look. So the next thing we are going to do is to join the dampers together. And to do that, we are going to flip the clothes over to the other side and make sure that the right side of the lining is facing the right side of the fabric. So that is what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to place the right side of the fabric on the right side of the lining. And it's not going to be easy because we've already attached our bony to it. So it's going to be very hard. So I'm just trying to like pin it together. Don't mind me. It may look very easy as I'm doing it, but it's very hard. Trust me. So make sure that you push in all the fabric inside very well so that you are not going to sew on it and when you are turning it around it's going to be somehow so i'm just going to sew it like so so i've already sewn it and i'm trying to like turn it to the right side and it is actually a struggle <laughs> so i'm going to go off camera now to go and continue my struggle with it as i'm trying to turn it to the right side so I've turned it to the right side and this is how it looks. As you can see, it's looking so neat and beautiful already. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to attach zipper to it. So I'm just going to fold in the zipper allowance and use my iron to press it down so that it will be visible. Then I will attach the zipper to it. 
then i'll come back and show you guys how it looks so this is the final look of the clothes you can see how it's looking that's the back i've already attached the zipper to it so i'm going to take it to the mannequin and place it on heat so you can see it's looking real life wow it's looking so beautiful on the mannequin you can pair it with a gown or a shirt or anything thank you so much for watching this video please do well to like this video and subscribe to this youtube channel i will see you in the next one